Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and today is Friday the 18th of January. I thought I'd do a video updating you on the five hot stocks uh, for 2019. I started this post um, right, at, right at the end of 2018 and highlighted these, these five stocks and I want to update you where they are, what I'm trading in them and, and things like that. So a nice update. So PTC was the first and on the weekly time frame, we're still looking for that move up past the center line of our longer term channel. So this is the weekly time frame for PTC, just to remind you. We've still got that entry above $92 in mind. We want to clear all of this mess first. We want to make sure that we're on our way and away from this wave for low. So order's still good for this. Uh, 92.07, we're looking for an entry could get there next week maybe the week after but we've had a really nice move away the last four weeks away from this wave for low markets uh, starting to gather a bit of bullish momentum helped by earnings i must admit uh, but that's how markets uh, work so we are looking for that long still in ptc on the weekly time frame and that will be a longer term swing okay so next adobe just remind you where we are on the weekly time frame we are have had the wave for we're looking for that fifth wave on the weekly uh, but we didn't really get a fantastic entry uh, on the weekly set up for that so what i did do also i actually am in a trade on the four hour time frame for a breakout using our black box breakout indicator so i am in this trade i did produce a day free daily video for adobe and an update in this post for adobe for this trade so it's a breakout trade above this uh, big support resistance zone here above our ema cloud and we got the signal here at 24006 was the entry it's not doing too bad remember uh, this type of trade We've got to be a little bit aggressive with trading stocks but at the moment we're still we're still gathering some momentum but remember the uh, there's a longer term um, targeting this in mind on the weekly so we're going to manage this carefully if we can get some bullish momentum and get through this first bit of resistance uh, in this trade we may look to swing this for a lot longer term but we'll see how it reacts there's no reason of take no no there's nothing wrong with taking profits on this current open trade in adobe uh wait for a pullback and then getting in again remember these are the stocks we're going to be trading and keeping an eye on for the whole of 2019 uh so that's adobe update ump next let's go just go back and remind ourselves on the weekly where we are so again it's one of those potential fifth wave moves on the weekly this pivot point really destroys any weekly entry for that swing so you know i've just used that really really strong trend to identify this stock for a potential uh, hot stock for 2019 we've got a great move up and we've got 180 dollars in mind but there's no uh, there's no trade on on the weekly for us there so we've had to go down uh, time frames to understand where we can get a, uh, an entry and I have got an entry today so I'm just going to pull back down to the daily and then restore the cell and then I'm going to go to the four hourly this is where again we've got a potential breakout here on the four hourly time frame so the last four hours from yesterday we saw on our black box breakout indicator we have got an entry now so the last four hours higher high higher low solid green candle this is our black box breakout indicator so the gray candles are up candles but lower volume than the previous candle so but yet so we've got that in the first half of yesterday's session and then the volume really picked up in the second half and we got a good solid green candle uh, higher high higher low with increased volume and that gives us our signal from our indicator suite uh, so we've got, I'm going to go for an entry at 156.09 uh, long uh, with a stop loss 151.70. So um, we've got a long way to go on this. Remember that pivot point on the weekly. This is this up here. Okay, so we've got quite a good risk to reward up to that point. Remember $180 ultimately that we're looking for is all the way up here. But initially, all we're interested in is clearing these hurdles, clearing this resistance level here around 160, and then the big one from that pivot on the weekly there around about our uh, one to two, 200 percent there. So that's UMP. Let's have a look at Costco. 
Costco's right on the on the cusp now of looking for a trade. So let's go to the weekly again. Remember, with Costco now, we are getting where we need to be. So we've had the wave four pull back on the weekly. We've come back and tested the center line of our longer term channel, which it broke out of at the end of last year. Now we've pulled back. Now we're looking uh, for longs, really above 220. But we, I keep trying some day trades. We've had a few successes, but we are struggling to get back out of this channel. Uh, when we look at that on a lower time frame, like a daily or something like that, we can see on the daily, this is a wave four pullback, and we're really struggling to break through. This is a daily time frame. Look how many days this has been trying to break out. Now, if it does break out, We've got a good chance of this wave four failure on this medium term um, time frame, on the daily time frame, um, to fail. And the failure is coming through this wave one. This, uh, this is why I've drawn this on the chart here. You know, top end of there is about two hundred eighteen dollars. If it can break that, it's breaking this bearish run, and we could get a nice long trade. So we'll be looking for breakouts in the coming weeks uh, through this uh, big level around two eighteen. Into is next. We are in a trade on into on the daily time frame. So let's just go to the weekly and remind ourselves why I've chosen this. Again, really strong bullish trend. We've had a wave four pullback on the weekly, and we are potentially now on a fifth wave move up to $250 on the weekly time frame. Uh, I actually chose a breakout on the daily uh, as my first entry for the year for into. Uh, this was the signal here. This this candle 19519 was the stop. Uh, 20675 was the entry. Again, this was uh, on a, a daily. Um, it's part of. I think it was on my signals uh, swings trading signals membership. I think I did a free video as well for that one for that day. But again, a long way for on the on the daily. We've, we've come up. And we've got that breakout signal above the um, EMA cloud there, and we're in it. You know, we're around about 50% profit times risk already at the moment. We have got some resistance up here. So again, if we start to see uh, some uh, some resistance, some you know, it running out of juice at this level, doesn't want to push through, we'll take the profit, get out, see if there's another pullback, and then wait for another entry. Remember, long. It's so a long year, 2019. I'm going to keep on at these stocks and keep building this journal uh, and see how many trades we can get in, what sort of wins we can get in on these five hot stocks. OK, so that's a great update for these five hot stocks for 2019. Hope you have a good weekend and a great trading week next week.